Hi. Uh, today we are going to uh, create a network diagram for this question. So the first item we are going to do is uh, to calculate uh, expected time. So the formula for calculating expected time uh, in this case uh, is taking the uh, pessimistic time which is 8 and then you add uh, four times that of uh, most likely and you add uh, that, that of optimistic time and then you find the sum of that and you divide by six to find uh, the expected time for the variance uh, you take the optimis optimistic time and then subtract the pessimistic time and then uh, divide by six and square it so since we have already calculated the expected time, we can go ahead to create the network diagram. So uh, yeah, let's start by putting the duration for each for each task. For A, uh, the duration is ten. For B, it's seven. For C it is 4, for D is 20, for E and so on until we reach to the task L. So let us input the duration for each task. So we have 10 for task A. And 7 for task B. Task C, twenty four task B, seven for task E, <coughs> ten for task F, eight for task B, sorry for task G, fifteen for task. Which eleven for task I, seven for task B, seven for task K, and uh, three for task M. So for task A, B, and C, all start at time zero. So. This will start at time zero. This will start, and this will start at time zero. So let's find the earliest finish for task B. It's seven. For task A, it is ten. For task C, it is four. Okay. So the earliest finish you take the. Uh, Earlier start which is zero and then you add the task duration to get the earliest finish. So let's go to task E. For task E it depends only on task C. So the earliest start for it will be four. So the earliest finish will be eleven. For task B it depends on task A. So the early start for task D it is 10 it is equals to early, early finish of task A so let's calculate the early finish of task D D which is 30 you take 10 plus 20 to be 30 so for task F uh, it depends on 3 it depends on 3 tasks that is the task E, task D and task B so we find the maximum of these three because task F can only start when all the three tasks are already completed. So here it will be the early start will be 30, then early finish will be 40. For task G, it also depends on task B, task D, and task E. So we find the maximum of these three because task G can only start when the three task, tasks are completed. 
so it is also that okay and the eye finish is at it so the task eye it only depends on task F. so the early start because to let start to early finish of task F, which is 40 so the early finish for task i is 51 we take 40 plus 11 for task h it only depends on task f so early start for task h is 40 early finish is 55 uh, for task L, it depends on task H and task G. So the maximum of two, the maximum of two early finishes uh, is uh, 55. So the early start is 55. The early finish is 58. Now we go to task. G. Task J depends on task G and task H. So the maximum of two early finishes now uh, is 55. 55. So early finish for task J is 62. And task A depends on task I and task J. So the maximum of two is 62. To, and then the early finish of task K is 69. Since this is the last task uh, for this project, uh, we find that its early finish must be equal to its late finish. So here we have 69. So to find the late start, we take a uh, let finish minus duration to get the let start which is 62 so task j task k depends on task j and task i so uh, using that dependence line i will move to task j so the let finish for task j is equal to the let start of task k so here we have 62 The late finish of task i is equal to the late start of task k. Okay. So we have here 62, 62 minus 11. So for task l, we find it's also another last task in that category. So uh, it should be finished uh, nearly the same way with that of the k, of the task k. So we can put here 62. And then 62. Next, task H feeds uh, task L and task J. So we find the minimum of the, uh, of the two. So here we have 55. 55 for the minimum. 55 minus 15 makes 40. Uh, for task G, uh, task G feeds task L and task G. So the minimum let's start for the two tasks that is task J and task L it is 55. So we put here 55 55 minus 47 So the uh, task F feeds task H and task I. So we find the minimum let's start for the two uh, which is 40. 40 minus 30 we have so the 40 minus 10 we have 30. Okay, so let's go to task E. Task E feeds task G and task F. So the minimum of the two we have 30. 30 minus 7 that is 
23 okay so for task b uh, task d fields fields task d and task f so we find the minimum of the two here we have 30 30 minus 20 that is 10 uh, for task c so task c feeds task e so we find i will take the uh, let let's start for task e as uh, let finish for task c we have 23 minus 4 which is 19 here we have 10 0. so task b feeds task g and task f the minimum of the two we have 30 at 30 minus 7 we have uh, 23 okay so uh, we have completed uh, looking at one diagram finding uh, early start early finish late start and late finish so if you check the diagram and the value that we have computed and calculated you can find that task a d f h j and k uh, do not have slack but all other tasks have slack this means that uh, task a d f h j and k are uh, the critical part if it's slack you take uh, late finish to subtract early finish so i hope uh, this video has been helpful to you in case you have any question kindly comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you have any detailed question and you need specialized assistance you can email me in the email provided in the description below also do not forget to subscribe and like so that the content i provide can reach someone in need of help again thank you and have a nice day